皆さんお久しぶりです。お元気ですか？桜井優です。Okay, time for another lesson. And I just wanted to start with thank you for all the likes and comments and subscription to my channel. And I read all the comments. Thank you so much. And one of them was a request. And somebody was、uh, traveling to Japan very soon and wanted to learn how to get around, you know, travel inside Japan. So today's topic is how to travel in Japan. So it's really important. To find a way, unless you're in a tour, then they take you everywhere. And I personally, I when I travel, I usually visit like someone, like somebody I know. So I have a freedom to choose the place, then you know, get around how I want. But it comes with the difficulty that I have to find a local transportation. So I know it's a very difficult thing. And Uh, overall, well, I live in LA, as you know, and in LA you have to drive, and it's without it, it's really hard. We have trains and buses, but it doesn't go everywhere, everywhere. But in Japan,、uh, if you're going to city areas, it's you don't want to be driving, so you don't need to rent a car. It's a relief, right? And it's probably difficult to drive in Japan anyway because we drive on the left hand side. Unless you're British, maybe it's the same, but it's on the other side. And so in a car, our driver's seat is on the right side. So it's a very difficult, I mean, different experience. So unless you're going to a super、uh, countryside, I would say you can just use. Public transportation in Japan, but I'm gonna go over a lot of words today so that you know what's what and some phrases that you can use and ask for help and get directions and whatnot, whatnot. So, so that you are ready to go to Japan. Okay, let's get started.、Uh, let's go from the sc bigger scale to smaller scale. So the first one will be. But when you get there, you're probably taking a flight. I would say, unless you're taking a boat or swimming.、Um, so the airplane is hikoki, hikoki, yeah. And airport is kuko, kuko,、uh, kuko. If you write it in kanji, it's like this. It's actually it means sky. And port, like harbor. So, sky harbor, cool, right? And so, unless maybe if you're coming from a nearby country, like Asian countries, maybe you're taking a, a ferry or something. And a ship overall is called hune, hune. And、uh, the port. Harbor is Minato. Minato. So this is international traveling, also domestic traveling too. Let's go on to the local transportation. Our main transportation is definitely train, and train is generally called Densha. Densha. Actually, in kanji, it means electric car.、Uh, yeah, that's what it was before to start with.、Uh, so, densha, and the station is called eki. Eki. Yeah, and as you know, we have different different kinds of trains, and probably the most famous is this super fast train. Is called bullet train. We call it shinkansen. Shinkansen, yeah.、Uh, shinkansen is definitely made for long distance. So let's say Tokyo, Tokyo and Osaka. It's definitely、uh, popular to use shinkansen as well. 
and I forgot how fast it is. It's pretty fast, right? Yeah, and it's really comfortable. I've taken it uh, several times. It's super, super comfortable. And also, you don't have to like check in like airport. We use the same like train station. It's just, you know, in a different section. We have Shinkansen station. So it's a very convenient uh, uh, way to travel around in Japan if you are moving around, not just one city, like different cities. That's definitely a good way to just go everywhere. Yeah, um, I remember when I uh, when I go went to high school, I had to take like two trains. Yeah, two trains. And in the morning, because you know, we all, you've seen a picture before, right? Like everybody is like packed into the train. It was like that. I survived those three years. And it's really busy in the morning, those commuting hours, rush hours, what we call it. And so therefore we have like all sorts of uh, trains that goes different speed and, you know, different, uh, uh, if it's, it can be stopping everywhere or maybe it doesn't stop at all so we used to have not only just one express we used to have Tokyo that's like super express and Kyuko that's express or Junkyu Junkyu is a semi express so it's a little bit you know slower than express maybe it stops a, a little bit more than express but not every s station so uh, Usually they have the board up here, then in Tokyo or in Osaka, they usually have English uh, explanation. So, but you want to check if it's going to stop at your station. So, uh, yeah, please. Especially in the rush hours, it's really complicated. Every train is different, so be careful. And what you can get is this one. Jikoku hyo. Mm -hmm. Jikoku hyo, that's actually timetable, and but usually they also tell you which line to take. They have a little map, you know, which stations goes, and especially in Tokyo, it's really complicated. I don't know if you ever seen the whole map. There's like uh, in the middle, it's it's called Yamanote line. There's like a big circle. This this uh, uh, it's a JR. JR. Japan rail, Railway, um, it goes in a circle all the time and from there just trains go all the way and inside too, including subway, which is Chikatetsu. Chikatetsu. When you go outside a little bit, uh, you probably take bus and buses are called Bus. Bus. Same in English, just the Japanese pronunciation. And then we don't say bus station, you, we usually call it bus stop. So it's the same as with us. It's called bus de. Bus de. Okay, so bus is you know, for the ground tr transportation. And if you just want to get to the place, uh, you can also, of course, can take a taxi. It's a little expensive, but oh well. You know, it's easier. And taxi is taxi. Taxi. Again, we use the same English word, just a Jap Japanese pronunciation. And for the place we catch a cab, unless you are on the street, of course, you can raise your hand and you can catch the cab the same everywhere uh, we call it taxi waiting zone in English I guess uh, we call it uh, taxi noriba taxi noriba yes so in front of like big stations they usually have taxi noriba and they're just lining up and waiting for the customers um, as for the taxi goes it's Pretty much the same, you know. Every country, we, you get in and you tell them where you want to go. Uh, and I think I did this before, but 
you can just use this phrase uh, if you want to go to like I don't know like Tokyo station you can say Tokyo eki onegai shimasu okay Tokyo eki onegai shimasu do you remember what the last part is onegai shimasu is please so I'm saying Tokyo eki please Tokyo station please so just place and onegai shimasu that's the easiest way to say where you want to go so those are the you know major transportation and I know a lot of people uh, well first of all I don't want you to ride motorcycle in Japan because it's, the roads are kind of narrow and it's dangerous but just FYI uh, the motorcycle in Japan is called bike bike uh, so but in English if you say bike means bicycle and it, the bicycle in Japan is called this jitensha jitensha and actually I don't know if there's a bicycle rental but if you have one I think that will be really convenient uh, well, maybe you, if you're in a hotel, maybe you can't. But you see, if you're staying with your friends, um, literally, like, jitensha, by, uh, bicycle, is the main source of, like, local transportation for us. I used to have one uh, back in Osaka, in Tokyo. I always had one, just in case I'm going to go somewhere. Yes, so the bicycle is really cool. Uh, called jitensha. Jitensha. Okay. And finally, the best way is just walk. <laughs> and walk, uh, the, this is the verb. Oh, no, I'm sorry. The, the verb is aruku. Aruku. Then when it becomes now, it becomes aruki. Aruki. So why I'm saying this is that, um, you know, when people say, "Oh, how how do you want to get there?" Just you can say aruki. You can say it by walk. Yeah. All right. So I want to give you some phrases that you might need. To travel around Japan. Uh, I'll give you a, a few sentences that you can um, just ask questions if you don't know how to get there where you want to go. Uh, how what okay this this sentence it means what's the good way? What's the best What's the good way to get to place A? Let's see. This. No, so A is the name of the place. So, this is how it goes. A ni do yatte ittarai desu ka? Again, I'll break it down, the first part. A ni do yatte Dara i desu ka? Okay, so the first part is uh, to place a how. Do yatte is how. Ittara i desu ka? Is what's the good way to go there? Okay. How do you suggest I go there? Yeah, that's the part. It's a little long, but this is very uh, polite, so you can use it to uh, anyone at the hotel or to a stranger too. It doesn't sound like, woo, like, you know, to right in your face kind of sentence at all. This is very polite. And of course, if you can use, すみません, すみません, at the very 
beginning, that would be great. Excuse me. Excuse me. How do I get to point A? Again, so let's do, do the whole thing. Okay. Sumimasen. A ni do yatte ittara i desu ka? Did you get it? Even if you know how to get there, sometimes you're not sure. You get on a bus, then it's like, does it really go to the place I want to go? So, this is the sentence. Um, does this go to point A? Okay. Kore wa A ni ikimasu ka? これは A に行きますか Yes, as you can see, これ is this, A, point A. 行きますか is, does this go? Yeah, does this go to point A? That's what it means. Uh, yeah, so this is a, a useful phrase to know too. And yes, if, if you're going taking a, some kind of transportation, you know, um, you just want to know you uh, which one to take, to what direction, what line, and you go blah, blah, blah. But if you are asking for the direction to either you're taking a bike or if you're walking, somebody probably give you uh, just turn by turn a direction. So please remember these three words for now. Okay. If you're going straight, straight is masugu. Masugu. Okay. If you are well right. The right well sorry, your right is this way, right? Yeah. Right is me. Me. Left is hidari. Hidari. So, uh, if you are, you know, walking, if you want to turn right, they say, Migi ni magaru. Magaru means to make a turn. Or maybe somebody, uh, they want to say, it's going to be on your left side. And left side, they might say, Hidari ni arimasu. Hidari ni arimasu. The difficult part is that we don't usually use street names. So here it's easier. I'll make a right on like Orange Street and make a left on like Maple Drive, blah, blah, blah. But we don't have the street's name. It's usually numbered and it's really difficult. So we usually use some kind of, you know, mark. We probably use the uh, like signals like let's say you go to the oh, not the signals traffic lights you go to like three traffic lights and make a right or something like that so traffic lights are called shingo shingo yes so it's a good word and the corner is called kado Kado. So you might uh, hear these words too. Be careful. Okay. So I would say it's good, always good to have, um, you know, like map or guidebook. I mean, lately, if you have a smartphone and if you have some kind of internet access, maybe you can just, you know, do it on your palm of your, you know, on your palm. However. Yes, we have like those internet spots, like Wi-Fi spots, but they're not there are not too many of them. So I remember the last time I was there, I brought those like Wi-Fi, you know, the little thing that just gives the Wi-Fi hotspot itself, so you can just carry it around. You always have it. I rented here in LA and brought it back, but I know you can rent it at the airport. So that's actually a good way to just stay connected and you can always like 
map it and, you know, uh, do the, have the GPS on your phone. So that's really good. And also, lately you can just, you know, do those applications that you can just talk through Wi-Fi. You don't have to call. So that's a really good way. I forgot what it's called. Wi-Fi hotspot? No, no, no. Um, I maybe just depends where you go, but that's another option that you want to um, think about if you're going to Japan. And I think they need a reservation. Maybe you can go up to a counter and say, hey, I want to rent. Because they usually, you usually rent, so they need some kind of guaranteed and a reservation that it's okay that you can have it for a certain amount of time. So just do some research before you go. And lastly, I wanted to uh, give you some uh, phrases that you may hear. We have some greetings. Uh, you might probably hear the this in like uh, TV shows and movies. When you are seeing off someone, somebody's leaving, leaving the house or leave, to go somewhere, you say. Itterashai. Which means, yeah, please go ahead and, you know, uh, the feel, the sentence itself is, uh, please go. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Uh, yes, please go, but the feeling is that, you know, uh, have a good day and I hope you, you know, uh, wish you the good trip, good journey. So it's a good thing. I use it all the time, you know, when I'm home, if somebody's leaving the house, I say, did I shy? Yeah. And if somebody's, somebody came home, you want to say, okaeri nasai. Okaeri nasai. Or if it's casual, you can skip the last word. You can say, okaeri. Okaeri. Which means, welcome home. I think you came back. Welcome home. That's what it means. And it, when you come home, uh, if somebody says, Okaeri, Okaeri nasai, you would like to reply with, Tadaima. Tadaima. Say, I'm home. I'm home. Yes. yes, so those are the some of the tips for you when you go to Japan. And I think it will be nice if you have been to Japan, maybe you can uh, share your experience here at, uh, in the comments so other people would know uh, how it's like, whether good or bad, if you can just yeah write it and share with us. And also if you have any tips for travelers in Japan, uh, what worked, what wasn't you know, what didn't work, something that you have to be careful. And I actually will be curious if you, if you went to somewhere, maybe the countryside, you know, how, how, how it was like, you know. So, uh, yes, please feel free to share your stories here. And me and my students will really appreciate it, okay? Well, thank you for watching the lesson today about traveling in Japanese. Okay. And my name is Yu Asakura, and I will see you in my next lesson. And meanwhile, if you like my uh, updates uh, for my Japanese lesson, my actor's uh, work stuff, uh, this is my Twitter, and I'm going to add an Instagram too. Why not? <laughs> yes. So uh, yes, please just uh, feel f uh, free feel free to follow me, and I am looking forward to seeing you soon. じゃあ次のレッスンでお会いしましょう。またね。バイ。